What's going on everybody? It is Jamie and welcome to the channel Thrift on Fire. Welcome to day two of a video every day in February. Normally we're going thrifting, yard sailing. I'm showing you what's sold on eBay. Today we're going to talk about eBay, but we're going to talk about getting feedback removed. But before we do that, I want to talk about a couple things. If you haven't joined the Canadian Reseller A group on Facebook, I will link it down below. It's a new uh, Facebook group. Matt Cart created it, but we have a whole bunch of really cool YouTube creators and a whole bunch of people selling online in Canada in the group. So come check it out. It's a great place to share bolos, talk about reselling. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's still growing. We're trying to grow it. So if you want to join, the link will be down below in the description of this video. The other thing I wanted to talk about, I just made a sale last night on Poshmark com and I went to go look at the label and it says I need to update my tax information so essentially I'm in Canada selling on poshmark.com and I do not have um, a tin or um, what are they use social security numbers or something like that in the US and we use sin numbers here in Canada it's not the same thing now I couldn't remember how to get past this so actually I had to send email an email to eBay customer support and say hey I'm a Canadian selling cross border in Canada and explain everything. I think last time I had to do something like that as well. I don't remember so I hope that's all I have to do. Currently it shows I have sales on poshmark.com but I can't sell anything. I'll throw up right now the exact error or message I'm getting. The address you see at the top is my United States Postal Service um, PO box in the US. That's from Stallion Express. Then it's asking for my information and it's all about the, uh, the is it T94 or T, whatever they have in the US that's equivalent to the T4 in Canada. You'll see it down below. Um, yeah, regardless, I'm trying to work through that. I will update you here sometime this week when that gets sorted out. Hopefully it gets sorted out, or is this the end of Poshmark.com for me? I have no idea, but that's something else that I'm dealing with today. So before I jump over to the MacBook here, I wanted to talk about the wholesale buy. You guys seen the video on Monday. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below in this video as well. So the one thing I've already listed a few things here, and so we have an update for the Cannibal Corpse Red, uh, red before black t-shirt. So I thought maybe that was a Y2K t-shirt. Uh, I've known that, known about that man forever and listened to some of the really old stuff. Um, however, that t-shirt is from 2017. I thought Hot Topic maybe did a, uh, a remake of it, but no, it looks like that is a 2017 t-shirt because that's when the album came out. So that is an old, it's not older, but I'm still trying to get about 45 bucks for it. And I probably think I will, but I did think that was a Y2K um, t-shirt. Uh, the Tapo t-shirt, I got it listed too for $64. The Tool t-shirt, I also listed it for, I think, $64.95. Uh, and a few other t-shirts. I've only listed a handful of those so far. I'm still happy with the profit that I'm going to make from that. But that one t-shirt, like I said, already isn't what I thought it was. But I still think there's some pretty good profit in that buy. Um, but that's sort of why you don't want to pay a ton of money for stuff like that when you're buying wholesale. Because you never really know. I looked up stuff really quick, comp stuff really quick. And I was clearly wrong about a few things. And I might be wrong about more things in that buy. I don't really... I don't really know to be 100% sure until I actually spend the time to list it. I just comp things really quickly, use Google Lens, basic searches. So was I wrong about a few things? Probably, but I still think it was a good buy overall. Okay, so we are on eBay.ca and as you can see here, this is my store, 654 The Store. Uh, I have 99, where is it on here? I have 99.1% feedback. So I do have a couple negatives. We can talk about those two. Uh, I just had one removed. I thought I took a screenshot of it so I could show you. I'll explain that after too. But let me just first show you how to at least request feedback removal. Now eBay says that they've fixed this, but I've contacted them three times in the last three or four months and it's been the same way. So you can't actually get to the section that you need on ebay.ca and I'll show you what you're supposed to do and I'll show you what the difference is. So first of all, you're supposed to go to help and contact up here at the top. So I'm on the homepage, so help and contact. Okay, in this bar, you're supposed to be able to just type seller help. You get this seller hub, you get a bunch of articles that are related, but you can't get to the section that you actually need. So what you need to do if you are Canadian or selling on .ca, you just need to go to eBay. You need to go to ebay.com. So now I'm on ebay.com, but I'm still signed in as six by four, the store. Now, when we go to help and contact and we type in seller help, 
we get this other section that says go to seller help that was not there on the Canadian website or the .ca. So that's this is step one. This is where we need to be. So there's a bunch of things you can do in here, but what we're talking about is request to remove feedback. Okay, so in the last 30 days, I do have this one. This sale was from, uh, I think, November of last year. I had to cancel this order because this person lowballed me and I didn't want to ship it to them and they were very mad about it. So if I go down here, I'll try to do my best to cover up the buyer's name. I've already submitted, uh, submitted a request. So essentially, I had said that they were trying to use I said my, so you have to find a reason for the feedback to re be removed. So you kind of have to know some eBay policies. So I just said they were trying to bully me unless you can send me the jacket, my rating stands. Uh, you never inform me of any mistake at all. I mean, that's not true. I told them that I didn't, I couldn't ship the item. Um, I guess I didn't exactly say why. So, I mean, it's really, it, it, this one, I guess I'm okay with being on here because it is my fault and it will fall off eventually. I think it takes might take 12 months for this to sort of like go away on your on your feedback rating anyway. I think it might stay on actual eBay, but regardless, um, and then if we go back 12 months, there might be some more, okay? This is a controller here. They said one controller does not work, the other one doesn't charge and has to be plugged in all the time. I also sent a request on this one. These were both tested it's sort of he said she said um they didn't even respond to my email or anything like that uh i offered them to and you can go i'll show you in the other section here you can go i'll just throw it up on the screen right now actually you can go and reply to feedback so in this particular case i think i said hey i offered a return and a refund and this person never got back to me so it does state my side of the story and as far as ebay goes i kind of I had to just sort of look for a loophole and I couldn't find one, so this one stuck as well. Um, and this one, this was because I shipped something letter mail. Same thing, this person, if I show you what happened in this case, I, I replied with, um, uh, I refunded the buyer and sent out the item, but they just put never received negative feedback. That's because I used letter mail and I tried a few different ways to get rid of the feedback. I just can't, so these three are stuck on my account. I'm okay with that really. Um, but so what, what would happen here in this section here, if you had a request, you would just hit, you would click click on the item that you wanna request. It basically, you're gonna give an option. It'll give you, I think, four different options you can choose from. You write a little paragraph and you basically say why you think the feedback should be removed, whether it was unfair, uh, whether the person is lying, um, if they were using profane language is another reason you can get feedback removed. Uh, if they were trying to scam you, you need to have proof of any of these things, but this is where you would submit it. And it usually takes, I think, up to 72 hours for the for this to actually go through and get a response from eBay. So I actually got some negative feedback for this item right here. It's a, a Nyko uh, cassette deck. It is right there. Um, somebody purchased this from me and asked to cancel. This was back in November, I believe, or a while ago. And I kind of forgot about it and relisted this. But then I got a negative feedback stating that uh, I think it said like it was chewing belts up and this thing is broken and they clear it. Somebody tried to take it apart clearly. I'm like, what? Like, I, I wouldn't have sold it like that. I was so confused. So I replied to, hey, I wish you would have contacted me before leaving the feedback. Maybe we can work this out. Uh, and they sort of sent me a couple weird messages. I'll throw the messages up now. They're even, I think at one point, they even might have said something about Facebook, five star rating or something. I don't know. It was bizarre. So I wound up contacting eBay customer service. Um, and this is an exact route that I took right now. I basically talked to somebody and said, hey, I don't know what happened here. It was a canceled order. And I think this person, person wound up purchasing the same item from somebody else and they were confused. And they thought that the item that, I, that they asked me to cancel was the item that they got that was like a piece of junk from somebody else. This person really probably shouldn't even be on the internet, but I mean, everybody's allowed to be on the internet. It's sort of fair game. They clearly were super confused and they thought I was somebody else. So I basically had to go through the process of saying, hey, um, they're saying the belt's broken. So I basically had to do this, which just seems crazy. I had to say the belt, they said the belt was broken. Um, it's eating tapes and missing parts. None of that can be true because the order was canceled. And this is the item right here at my house. I never shipped this item. There was no tracking. The answer was canceled and refunded. Okay, so I had to do all that to prove that the person was lying. 
so that eBay would remove the feedback. There was no other way to do it. I talked to a customer service rep first. So the first way, if you're trying to get a hold of somebody on the phone on eBay, so the first thing you have to do is go to um, the chat or so like, I need help at the bottom. You have to talk to like the virtual assistant um, and you can sometimes talk to an agent that way and you can chat with them or you can say, call me and under certain circumstances, they'll actually call you and get you on the phone. So my, I picked feedback extortion because I knew this was not even true. So if somebody called me, but even when they called me, they basically told me I still had to do what I just showed you at the computer. I had to go basically say what happened, write the whole story out. And then within, I think it was actually within about 48 hours, the feedback was totally removed from my account. Now I'll try to throw a list up right now of reasons why you could get feedback removed on eBay. There's all sorts of different reasons. Knowing policy is definitely a big thing here, you know, and, and it's really hard for me to say one thing will work for sure and one thing won't work for sure. At the end of the day, as long as you're doing things to the best of your ability, I don't think having some negative feedback is a bad thing. And there are definitely some maybe you deserve when you get them. It's so hard, so hard to say every case is unique, but eBay is definitely using the the case of buyer experience these days so if somebody had a bad experience they think that they, sh they should be able to voice that however they cannot use it as extortion they can't say like with that jacket for instance i kind of feel like that person's saying unless you can give me the jacket i'm never going to change my mind that doesn't seem like an opinion to me you know like i obviously refunded you your money i apologized i think at the very least that should be neutral feedback and i think in cases like that feedback ebay should step in and say you know what you're kind of being unreasonable but they don't because they're using this thing called buyer's experience at the end of the day i'm not really that, all that upset about it i know 100 percent feedback is nice it's kind of what i was striving for for a long time and I've kind of said in other videos, once you accept one negative feedback, it seems like it's easy to accept more. And I, I don't want to, it sounds like a slippery slope and I don't want to be like, I don't care about feedback. Just keep, just keep selling stuff. It doesn't matter. It absolutely does, does matter. But is it the be all end all of reselling? No, I don't think so. And I do think just the way that feedback is set up in eBay is pretty outdated. Honestly, I think it should be it should be revamped and i think there should be more sellers rights and not just all buyers rights anyways guys if you like videos like this please give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing for more content and we'll see you tomorrow